Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Power BI release March 2024 as part of Catch Up with Nax series. There are a lot of exciting features that Power BI team has released, and as usual, I'm going to discuss some of the features that is more useful to me as well as for my subscribers. Let's try to jump into what are the features that I like most. Before going to that, Analytics with Nax uh, has reached 100k subscribers. A big thanks to each and everyone who has subscribed to this channel. And if you are watching the channel for the very first time, you can subscribe and press the bell icon for notification. The features are like basically there are a lot of visual calculations update. And if you are not aware what is that visual calculations. To make the DAX simpler, you can write your uh, calculations at that table level or within the visual itself. That is what the visual calculations. What is a new feature over here is like um, uh, I will show you while I'm showing a demo. There are um, new updates in this visual calculations. That is what it is. And mobile layout auto create. This is another good feature like when you have designed your desktop uh, reports and you need to redesign the mobile layout you need to drag and drop uh, all other steps right instead of that now there is uh, auto create option so that most of the visuals will fit in or the power bi will create a mobile layout report for you that is this feature this is very good in terms of those who are using um, uh, mobile uh, regulated reports but it is not going to be a complete report because obviously the alignments are the requirements based on the requirements you need to change a little bit but of course it will do at, at least 60 to 70 percentage of your work that is what it is and DAX query view improvements and copilot basically again this is like a query view where you can write your DAX queries and uh, explore uh, like SQL database like in your database if you're familiar with the database you can write SQL queries right similarly you can write your DAX queries to check your outputs immediately and it will be performant efficient in this what is a new feature is like they introduced a copilot where you can ask in a natural language I need a sales amount by the product then this uh, DAX query view will give you a DAX query. It's like a copilot is something like a AI uh, module in uh, Microsoft where you can use a lot of AI features. One of the features is like natural language query. You can type in your natural language and DAX query view or uh, Power BI will generate DAX query for you. That is it. This is very good feature. Those who are not familiar with DAX, they can use this one. The next one I like is like edit model in Power BI service and this is also there are a lot of improvements like it can do the auto detect relationship and also some kind of RLS improvements other things that have and rename to semantic model in Power BI project files this is very important sometimes like um, we do some programmatic stuffs as part of the development where uh, some files needs to be fetched from certain folders right now they have renamed uh, earlier it was a data set folder right now they after they renamed to semantic model most of the files the power bi files will also stored in the semantic model folder the old files still remain in the data set that is old folder whatever your new files you are storing it will be under semantic model so these are the different features that I hope um, that I impact my day to day activities. That's what I want to share with you people. I hope uh, this is what um, all about March 2023 2024 release. And before going to the website, I'm going to show you uh, what are the different things available as part of this channel like this channel contains a power bi msbi that covers ssis ssis and fundamentals of azure please utilize this content and share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's go to power bi blog that is microsoft blog 
power bi march 2024 release before that um, there is some f there is opportunity to earn the microsoft certificate they say it is uh, earn a free microsoft fabric certification exam i'm not sure how much uh, uh, it is genuine or it is true but since it's published in Microsoft it is it is genuine basically what I'm trying to say is whether you will get that opportunity or not because it's very limited right so that's what I mean so you can utilize this as well then coming back to our subject like um, release March 2024 but you see visual calculation updates as I said <coughs> visual calculation updates new um, this is like uh, you can add or edit visual calculation on the service basically visual calculations was released last um, uh, release a few months back and now you can do that in the service as well so you can see add new calculation as well as you can edit the existing calculation this is what about visual calculations you can do it in the service as well then coming uh, to other topics I'm interested in mobile layout auto create you can see here when you switch to uh, mobile layout here where right now you you can find the option here auto create so when you once you choose this it will automatically uh, create a mobile layout reports for you even you have option over here auto create mobile layout then coming to other features like in modeling write DAX queries in DAX query view with copilot so what it says write a DAX query to list products by units sold you see this is the natural language you are just asking uh, for um, write a query for me for list products by units sold then it will generate a query for you similarly if you see um, you can ask what is the difference between some and some x it will list you the definition of it you can try to ask certain things and it will try to give you the answers as well that is what it's all about that is write to dax queries in dax query view with copilot then um i have um, some other things i like that let's move on to that one dax query view improvements that is what more of it i covered uh, previously and here it is uh, services like edit your data model in the power bi service so if you are watching for very first time after a long time uh, power bi has released um, edit can, you can edit your data model in the power bi service itself so what are the improvements right now auto detect relationship exists right now in the service as well as you can use the sort by column uh, this is like um, you have a month name in your data model and it is not ordered properly and you have a month number so you can set that one these things are not uh, possible earlier right now it can be possible by um, these options are enabled in the service that's what you need to keep watching this um, updates uh, every month so that what are the improvements um, Microsoft is making you can utilize those features then even row level security uh, all these things are improved like you have intelligence verify validity of your DAX expression all these things are added in the row level security in the services as well then uh, one last thing about um, developer under developer as I said rename to semantic model you can see here following a rename to semantic model uh, last year power bi project files other two naming change and semantic model folder will be saved as you see earlier it was data set now it will be under semantic model only applied to new power bi files existing will keep the current folder name uh, I remember there are some programmatic approach to uh, store the files or um, create uh, certain uh, folders right for some someone who is doing a programmatic creating autom automatic data sets so for them this is very crucial like the, you need to save it in the new file f uh, folders that's what it's very important for someone who is doing programmatically and that's it uh, about uh, this uh, release these are the features i like the most uh, please comment below what you need uh, from this channel and if you like this video and do remember that data is your asset